the world, a planet full of beauty as well as dangerous and scary places. Here are the dangerous and scary places of our planet. Some are also fascinating. Death Valley. Death Valley, a national park of the United States, is one of the most dangerous places in the world due to its extreme temperatures, rocky cliffs, and sharp drop-offs. Many deaths have occurred in Death Valley over the years, making this a really dangerous location to visit. Temperatures can reach 134 degrees Fahrenheit here, that's about 57 degrees Celsius. Average annual visitor is over 1 million. Between 2010 and 2020, 41 deaths occurred. The Danakil Desert, Danakil Depression, is located in Ethiopia and is one of the most dangerous places in the world due to the high temperature. While not as hot as Death Valley, the Danakil Desert still reaches around 55 degrees Celsius. Poisonous gas and acid lakes have been formed due to geothermal activity. Beneath its surface, the rocky crust is splitting. Underground magma chambers, steaming geysers and bubbling pools feed as many as 12 active volcanoes. The local government has banned visiting the Danakil Desert. Despite this, there are tourists who dare to come here. The scenery here is magnificent and vibrant colors can be seen. Snake Island, in the Atlantic Ocean, 150 kilometers from Sao Paulo, Brazil, lies Ilha da Queimada Grande, also known as the Snake Island. The island's terrain varies significantly from bare rock to rainforest. It is estimated that between one and five snakes per square meter can be found on the island. The snakes here are the golden lancehead genus of pit vipers and are found only on this island. This snake, which has extremely powerful neurotoxins, can cause death if it bites. This species causes 90% of deaths from snake bites in Brazil. With some exceptions, the Brazilian Navy has banned travel to the island. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park As fascinating as Hawaii is, despite its serene beaches, it is one of the most dangerous tourist destinations in the world. Mount Kilauea, which has been erupting continuously since 1983, and Mauna Loa, the world's largest volcano, are in Hawaii's Volcanoes National Park. Here there are hot flowing lava rivers and lava waterfalls, volcanoes and tropical rainforests. If you want, you can bike in Hawaii and hike active volcanoes. However, there are reports of deaths due to these activities. For this reason, the National Park Service temporarily suspended bicycle tours in 2007 due to serious injuries and deaths. Skellig Michael. Skellig Michael is an island in Ireland that receives an average of 11,000 visitors a year. The island's terrain is steep, unprotected and dangerous. There are about 600 ancient steps on the mountain slope here, and these steps are not safe. To reach the island, it is necessary to take a boat ride for about an hour in rough water. Boats generally cannot approach the island due to high waves. There is also a risk of encountering falling rocks. The island visit takes approximately six hours. Due to the difficult conditions of the region, climbing is not allowed in rainy or windy weather. Death Road. The road connecting La Paz to Yungas in Bolivia was named the Road of Death due to the death toll. No matter how wonderful the view is, you should not take your eyes off the road for even a second, because on a hundred meter cliff, this could be a fatal mistake. The road is only three meters wide. There are obstacles and continuous steep slopes of at least 600 meters. Extreme dust clouds in summer and frequent fog throughout the year and during the winter months, mudslides occur. Also, the road is often surrounded by clouds and partially waterfalls fall to the surface. More than 25 accidents occur on the death road each year, resulting in 100 to 300 deaths. Lake Natron. Lake Natron is located east of the volatile East African Rift. It is a hypersaline and highly alkaline lake, 3 meters deep and 22 kilometers wide. Lake Natron consists of a mixture of sodium carbonate and baking soda. This mixture has a concentration that can calcify the fauna visiting the lake. The average alkalinity of Lake Natron is 10.5, with a pH exceeding 12 and temperatures ranging from 40 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. However, one species of bird can live here without any problems, flamingos. More than 2.5 million flamingos breed here. Flamingos feed on algae and cyanobacteria. They filter salt through glands in the flamingo head and are resistant to boiling water. Yosemite National Park. Yosemite National Park is the largest national park in the United States. It covers a large area in the western Sierra of the Nevada mountains. 
If you don't know where you are going, you can get lost and this can be quite dangerous. Wildlife in Yosemite Park is very diverse and you may see dangerous animals when you visit this place. For example, the venomous North Pacific rattlesnake, red foxes, black bears, bats, bighorn sheep, mountain lions, deer, coyotes, and bobcats. If they feel threatened, they can attack you and you should be careful as they can cause diseases. Additionally, deep cliffs, the park's dazzling waterfalls, and the powerful Merced River are other dangerous places where death rates are high. Cliffs of Moha. The Cliffs of Moha are one of Ireland's most popular tourist attractions, but also one of the most dangerous, and one wrong step along the edge could mean falling 213 meters below the Atlantic Ocean. Deep cliffs in the Burren area of Clare continue for miles along the Atlantic Ocean coastline. Every year, thousands of people in Co Clare put themselves in harm's way by crossing the boundaries of the official footpath along the cliffs of Moher. Despite frequent warnings from security guards, many visitors who left the road to take photographs at the edge of the cliff during the walk were injured, and more than 60 people died when they fell into the sea. New Smyrna Beach New Smyrna Beach is on the east coast of Florida and south of Daytona Beach. The region is known for its 27 kilometers of pristine white sand beaches. Famous for its mild climate and magnificent surfing, New Smyrna Beach is also famous for another feature, the beach with the highest number of shark attacks. That's why it's called the Shark Attacks Capital. The most common species here are bull sharks, which can swim and hunt in freshwater. New Smyrna Beach has seen more than 240 different shark attacks to date and these attacks are increasing. Despite this, swimmers and surfers often prefer this place. According to International Shark Attack File Records, 60% of the total United States and 38% of unprovoked shark bites worldwide occur in Florida each year. Mount Washington. Mount Washington is a place where wind speeds are high, freezing is prone, and hurricane force winds occur approximately every four days. The annual rainfall is high here. Due to dangerous wind chill on Mount Washington, hikers may face dangers such as hypothermia and frostbite. Even if the weather is bad at the summit, the weather at the base of Mount Washington often seems warm and sunny creating a false sense of security. Weather conditions at the summit can change quickly. The average hiking time on Mount Washington is at least eight hours, which means plenty of time to get tired, lose daylight hours, and get lost. More than 100 deaths have occurred on Mount Washington. Skeleton Coast. One of Africa's harshest environments, the Skeleton Coast is referred to by sailors as the gates of hell. Although it looks fascinating from the air, the situation is different when viewed from land. Here, the Atlantic Ocean meets the fierce heat of the Namib Desert. Whale and seal skeletons seen along the coastline are remnants of the previous whaling industry. The Skeleton Coast is the world's largest ship graveyard, spanning thousands of kilometers. Shipwrecks and human bones can be seen due to the dense coastal fog. Animals such as lions, hyenas, leopards, and desert elephants can be seen in rivers close to the ocean. Therefore, those arriving by car must be careful when getting off. And fog, strong waves, and strong tides have been reported to have claimed many lives. Fraser Island. Fraser Island is located off the southeast coast of the Australian state of Queensland. Fraser Island has some of the most beautiful and stunning beaches in the world. However, Fraser Island Beach is known as the most dangerous beach in the world as it is the habitat of dingoes, great white sharks, jellyfish, and poisonous stingrays. Swimming is not recommended here as there is a risk of encountering these creatures. Although Fraser Island, the world's largest sand island, is known for its soft texture, the rock-hard sand at the bottom can be dangerous for divers. Diving activity can cause consequences such as bone fractures and paralysis. Lifeguards do not patrol the island's beaches and dangerous waves are often encountered, especially on the east side of the beach. Oymyakon. This is a very dangerous area 3,000 miles east of Moscow. It takes its name from the Oymyakon River. This place, considered the coldest region in the world, is a small village located in the ice valley of Siberia. Only layers of white snow can be seen here. The lowest temperature recorded was minus 72.2 degrees Celsius. Winters in Oymyakon are long and cold. Oymyakon's population has decreased significantly over the last few decades. This place is known as a scary and dangerous place where it is not possible for everyone to survive.
Also, there is no cell phone service, and even if there was, it would not work due to the extreme cold. Many animals cannot withstand harsh climatic conditions. Madidi National Park Madidi National Park is one of the largest protected areas in the world, located in the upper Amazon River Basin in Bolivia. Spotted leopards, giant otters, TT monkeys, more than 11% of 9,000 bird species and many other animals live here. Most people enjoy walking in nature, boating on the river, and enjoying the surroundings, but only if it is a safe environment. Madidi National Park is home to some of the world's most poisonous and aggressive fauna. There is a risk of severe itching, rash, and dizziness if you come into contact with any of the plants in this park. Almost all the things naturally found here are poisonous. For this reason, many visitors can only visit this place with a planned tour. Blue Hole Dahab the small seaside resort of Dahab on Egypt's Gulf of Aqaba boasts a stunning natural wonder, the famous Blue Hole. The Blue Hole is a vertical cave containing a sinkhole of approximately 130 meters. This is a great place for diving. Approximately 56 meters below the surface is the Arch, a gateway to open waters. It is not recommended for any diver to dive deeper than 30 meters. The Blue Hole is known to many as the diver's graveyard. When going deep, nitrogen narcosis negatively affects the diver, making it impossible for the diver to reason. Increased nitrogen bubbles in the bloodstream of some divers mean they may miss opening the belt and unfortunately continue to go deep until they die. At least 150 people have died in the last 15 years.